Welcome to the second set of Losers Quarterfinals of the FNF Victory Road Draft League Season 3 Playoffs. This set is between Edgar and the Canopy Black Egrets versus Sartoda and the Milwaukee Mudkips. In this battle, we have Mega Scizor on Milwaukee Mudkips. We have also Z Attack Garchomp on Canopy Black Egrets. We have Z Any Latios and Z Attack Arcanine on Milwaukee Mudkips. So this is actually a matchup I didn't anticipate to see this early in the bracket. These are both really strong uh, trainers, the highest seeds facing off each other, uh, facing off against each other in the playoffs. So it's going to be an intense match for sure. I think we'll also have a lot of bulk switching between bulk and offenses with both of these players. That's pretty much how their team functions. I think on Edgar's team, we're definitely going to see a lot of hazard sacking. So I wouldn't be surprised if Startoad had defog on both Florgas and uh, Latios because he's definitely going to need some hazard control. And I think we're going to probably see some wishing from Florgas on some of those more passive Pokemon. Edgar will probably have some moments of offense. Startoad will probably have some moments of offense. It looks like Arcanine might be pretty troublesome for Edgar. And of course, Mega Scizor is going to be one of those problematic Pokemon as well because Edgar doesn't have any fire types with him this time. So it's going to be an interesting Pokemon battle for sure. Lots of bulk, lots of offense. So stay tuned and let's see how this battle goes. I think we'll see Ferrothorn and maybe Arcanine lead. So we have Generog, the Garchomp versus Bronzong. And there's a Stealth Rock going up on both sides. And Ferrothorn's actually going to switch in. Bronzong going for the Toxic. Staunch the Ferrothorn is immune. And in comes Scizor. Scizor might take this opportunity to go for some uh, swords dancing. So Exident the Cough Egregious comes in and Scizor Mega Evolves and actually goes for the Defog, so that's going to remove all those hazards. So interesting, we have Defog on Scizor, possibly on Latios and Florgas as well. The Mummy is going to allow Scizor to pivot out into Florgas. Florgas taking advantage of Exodent's relative passivity in order to pass Wishes. And there's Staunch the Ferrothorn again. The Moonblast, not going to do much damage to Staunch. Yeah, we, we see the bulky Pokemon fight, duking it out trying to get those hazards up and Arcanine comes in to face Staunch. There's the spikes going up on Startoad's side. Staunch now at 100% and the Flare Blitz is going to take out Staunch. That is a hard hitting Flare Blitz. I'm surprised that Edgar actually kept Staunch in. Yuna the Espeon comes in to face Arcanine and that Psyshock does the job taking Arcanine out. Score is now 5-5. In comes Crocodile. Does it have Pursuit? Actually, Crocodile goes for the Earthquake. Yuna going for the Substitute, but that is going to fail versus Crocodile. Crocodile might have a Choice Scarf attached since it outsped Yuna. So Dulce the Togekiss comes in. Of course, the Earthquake won't hit Dulce. We'll probably see Crocodile switch out. Indeed, we do. Bronzong is the one to come in instead. And there's the nasty plot from Dulce. Interesting. Protect is what Bronzong opts to go for. Dulce going for the Fire Blast. That will hit Bronzong and Scizor really hard. So that Fire Blast does indeed take out Bronzong. The score is 5-4, but Scizor does have access to Bullet Punch. Latios also is a big threat. That Ice Beam is going to bring Dulce down to 25%, but Dulce can retaliate with that Air Slash. I'm surprised we actually didn't see a Dazzling Gleam there. So Yuna, the Espeon, comes in. That Ice Beam is going to finish the job on Yuna taking it out. The score is 4-4 now with Sock the Axe coming in. We might see the knockoff. Florgas comes in to take that knockoff. Is it a knockoff? Indeed it is. Axe goes for that knockoff taking out those leftovers. Florgas at 73% as Dulce the Togekiss switches back in. There's the Wish going up. And Latio switches in. Did Edgar predict the Latio switch in? It's a Roost that Dulce goes for, actually. And Latios now at 90%. So the Ice Beam brings Dulce down to 2%. Who retaliates with the Air Slash? That's going to bring Latios down to 55 and the Ice Beam takes out Dulce. Score is 3-4 with Latios at about half HP. 
Axe the Sock comes in again, threatening with the knockoff. Scizor comes in to face it. Will it go for the knockoff? Looks like indeed it is a knockoff that Axe goes for. And Accident, the Cough Egregious comes in. There's the Roost on Scizor. I'm assuming we'll see Florgas come in from that U-turn. Indeed, there's Florgas. The spike's going to do a little damage, but Florgas still is pretty comfortable setting up some wishes now. Uh, Startoad really good with these predictions in what Edgar is going to use. The Moonblast actually hits pretty hard on accident, bringing it down to 23%, and that Shadow Ball is going to bring Florgas down to 43%. Doesn't do a lot of damage against Florgas. It is very specially defensive. And that Synthesis does big damage, but the Pain Split on accident actually allows it to come back up. Florgas will win this 1v1, though, because Wish and Synthesis allows plenty of recovery for Florgas and Florgas setting up that wish too. I think we'll see Florgas actually stay in here. Yeah, Florgas does stay in, exiting at 25%, and the pain split won't do much because of wish. So Florgas does indeed heal to 61%, and now it can take out Exiden with the Moonblast. It does. And the final two Pokemon can't really do much to Florgas. Maybe Garchomp can if it has Iron Head. Indeed, we see Genrog the Garchomp come in. The Earthquake is going to bring Florgas down to 8%, not enough to take it out as the Moonblast brings Genrog down to 18 Florgas now at 2%. Earthquake takes it out. Score is now 2-3, but that Florgas was really tough. Scizor comes in at 88%, and the Bullet Punch is enough to take out Genrog. The final Pokemon is Sock. Sock's close combat hits decently hard, doing 46 to Scizor. Scizor goes for the Roost though, so it will be able to outlast Axe as it continues to lower its defenses. Edgar probably hoping for the crit here. No crit though. I don't I don't even think crit would have taken out Scizor. And the bullet punch takes out Axe, so the score is 3-0 for, uh, for Startoad and Milwaukee Mudkips. I think that Florgas posed a really big threat to Edgar because... Um, his physical Pokemon, Sock and Garchomp, they couldn't really go past Florgas. The special sweeper in Togekiss still would have had trouble getting past Florgas and was vulnerable to Bullet Punch. And then Florgas was pretty good against the relatively passive Cough Egregious. And since Ferrothorn was lost so early, Florgas was just a big wall that Edgar couldn't pass through. So I think we might see in any team adjustments Edgar accounting for that. And then of course Scizor being able to hit with Bullet Punch is a big problem as well for Edgar because Togekiss can't sweep in that respect and uh, Sock can be pretty vulnerable with the Sturdy. Um, I think that Startoad used Latios to great effect with the Choice Scarf. I'm, I'm assuming that was a Choice Scarf. Ice Beam and... Um, he controlled hazards pretty well too so i think he'll probably keep the same game plan going into the second match and speaking of the second match let's go in and check out how it goes all right so here we are we do have some changes coming from edgar that is um kabutops and houndoom have been added and sock and espion have been taken out i think these are good changes because sock really had trouble, especially with the Choice Scarf sweeping. Um, there are just a lot of Pokemon on Sartoad's team composition. Uh, Florgas could come into close combat, Latios could come into close combat, Florgas could come into knockoff, Bronzong could come into poison jab, so like, Sock didn't have a lot of options to sweep with a Choice item, and it really wants a Choice Scarf. So I think that it was a good switch out. Houndoom definitely can threaten more with those fire moves and Dark Pulse on Latios. And then Kabutops is an interesting choice. If Rain could go up, it can be pretty good, but um, it might struggle versus Bronzong, for example, and Florgas. So we're gonna see how those changes affect the team. But overall, I do think these were good changes made by Edgar. It looks like Sartoad keeps his same team composition, which I also think was a good move because it worked for him. So. I think that if he sticks to it, especially with that strong defensive core and then those really nice bulky offensive Pokemon, um, it really worked out for him. So let's see how this match goes and we'll begin. 
I think we'll see Garchomp and Latios lead. So we have Accident, the Cough Egregious, and Arcanine. That Flare Blitz is going to hit really hard on Accident, taking it down to 32%. There's the Trick Room from Accident. I think Arcanine might be banded. The Shadow Ball does a whopping 49% to Arcanine, who goes for the Flare Blitz once again, taking out Accident. The Trick Room is still up. Arcanine at 19%. And Togekiss is going to come in. Dulce. Bronzong comes in and Dulce goes for the Air Slash. It's going to critically hit, doing 26%, but of course not doing much because of those leftovers. In comes Staunch, the Ferrothorn. The Trick Room is still up. Heavy Slam not doing much to Staunch. Bronzong getting some of that recoil as well from the Iron Barbs. And some hazards being stacked. There's a Hidden Power, guessing it's Fire. Does 30%, not much against Staunch, especially considering that it can go for Leech Seed. So Bronzong is just going to scoot on out of there. In comes Scizor getting Leech Seeded. And we saw Scizor defog last turn. Uh, I mean, last match. Maybe we will see it again. Well, Scizor goes for the U-turn this time. That hits pretty hard. And Crocodile is actually the one to come in. More spikes are being set up. Will we see the superpower from Crocodile is a good question. Protect is going to scout out that move and Crocodile goes for the Fire Fang actually. So we might see Houndoom come in, but Latios is the one who comes in and Nova the Kabutops comes in. So that Draco Meteor is going to take Nova out in one shot. Score is now 4-6. And Maurice the Houndoom comes in. We might see the nasty plot here. Um, that that would be a good opportunity for Houndoom to sweep, but it's actually Flame Charge. That is going to take out uh, Arcanine though because it has Intimidate instead of um, instead of Flash Fire. So Maurice going for the Fire Blast. That is going to miss against Florgas, who goes for the Moon Blast. That hits decently hard, doing 46% to Maurice. I don't think Fire Blast will be able to plow through Florgas. Yeah, it does 38%, so Florgas could definitely take another one of those as the Wish goes up. So, Ferrothorn decides to come in instead. There's Staunch at 67% after that Moon Blast. Florgas once again posing a problem on... Uh, Sartoad's team versus Edgar and a hidden power on Florgus. <laughs> it looks like Sartoad had three fire moves on three different Pokemon to deal with Ferrothorn. That is the effect of Ferrothorn on team building. So Scizor comes in at 38%. There's the Leech Seed as well. Scizor now at 25%. And it's probably, yeah, it does go for the Roost. Staunch goes for more spikes, but there are no spikes to clear. I mean, no spikes have been cleared. Now, however, the spikes have been removed, and Staunch is at 78%. There's another layer of spikes going up, though. I think Edgar's trying to create a situation which it's not profitable for Scizor to, um, to roost. And another layer of spikes actually goes up. Crocodile comes out. Staunch protecting, and there's the knockoff. Another knockoff hits. And Staunch goes for the Leech Seed. So now Staunch can comfortably take those knockoffs. Crocodile decides to switch out and Bronzong comes in. We have another full layer of spikes on Sartoad's side again. Stealth Rock up on, uh, on Edgar's side. And we have Bronzong Leech Seeded. So Sizzler is going to have a hard time coming in now to defog. I'm wondering if we will see Sizzler come in. No, we see Florgas come in. Yeah, I think Sartoad's best bet is to pass a wish to, Flor uh, to Sizzler. But Maurice comes in, and that's not a good matchup for Maurice because of... Oh, and the Destiny Bond is not going to work. Florgas goes for the wish instead. Maurice goes for the Flame Charge, but I think we'll see the Moon Blast now. Yep, the Moon Blast takes out Maurice. 
and the score is 3-5 with Florgas receiving that wish now at 100%. Yeah, Florgas has been the thorn in Edgar's side in this match. Dulce comes in going for the air slash. That does about a quarter. With leftovers, though, it will probably need to hit five or six times to take out Florgas. So air slash is going to do its thing flinching. We see two flinches now. Edgar's going to have to flinch three or four more times to take out this Florgas. Another flinch and uh, another air slash, I mean, and another flinch. Latios comes in and said, looks like Sarto doesn't want to risk it. And the air slash hits. Another air slash critically hits, taking Latios down to 5%. Latios flinches. So he decides to switch into Bronzong. Bronzong at 65%. And Staunch the Pharaoh Thorn comes in. That hidden power is going to hit pretty decently, but not doing that much damage. And in comes Scizor at 25%. The Leech Seed is successful, and Scizor now at 13%. I think we need to see Garchomp come in here. Uh, Scizor goes for the Roost, though. And there's the Gyro Ball. Scizor at 38%, so it can comfortably defog now. Indeed, it goes for that defog. There's another layer of spikes on Startoad's side. Scizor at 26%. It goes for the roost again. Edgar going for the spikes again. But Scizor is comfortable right now. It's just uh, roosting. And more spikes go up. So there's Garchomp, Gaia the Garchomp, and there's the Defog, so the spikes have been removed. Scizor at 75% now. And rocks have gone up now, there's a U-turn from Scizor. And Crocodile comes in. We do know that this Crocodile is Scarfed. Well, we don't know, but I'm assuming it is. And the Earthquake takes out Crocodile. The score is now 3-4, but Gaia has been brought down to enough uh, to the point where Scizor's Bullet Punch probably takes it out. So in comes Staunch, the Pharaoh Thorn. Scizor goes for the Bullet Punch. And Scizor Roosting. Yeah, Scizor is a big problem for Edgar right now because it can defog all these spikes that Staunch is setting. It can roost, and it's not taking enough damage from Gyro Ball to be taken down. So Scizor, I, I don't see how Edgar can take out Scizor in this match at this point. He's going to need to set up spikes and rocks when Scizor comes in. But Florgas with Hidden Power is definitely a big uh, obstacle for Staunch. Who's at 51% now. The hidden power can hit pretty hard. There's Latios coming in. Staunch goes for spikes. And now Latios has a chance to go for some moves here. It looks like it's Ice Beam that's going to hit. Ice Beam brings Staunch down to 21%. And Staunch actually goes for some layers of spikes. Down Staunch goes to that Ice Beam. Score is 2-4. Togekiss comes in. We know that this Togekiss is pretty fast. Yeah, it outsped Latios, so this has to be a Choice Scarf Togekiss. Score is now 2-3 as Bronzong is switched in. And we have some air slashing. But the Heavy Slam does hit, bringing Dulce down to 13%. Bronzong at 61%. There's going to... Um, Edgar's going to need to flinch a lot to take down Bronzong. And even then, Scizor does have Bullet Punch. So Bronzong flinched twice. I think there's I think that Edgar needs three or four more flinches. There's another hit. Another flinch. Two uh, three more flinches, I think, are needed to take down Bronzong. Another flinch. I think, yeah, two more flinches are needed. Another air slash hits. Will it flinch? It does flinch, so Bronzong can be taken down by the next air slash. And it does take down Bronzong. Score is now 2 2. 
that was um that was something <laughs> scissor comes in at 38 percent that bullet punch is going to take out dulce and garchomp at 21 percent i don't think it could take a bullet punch it does not it's taken down and scissor gets some of that recoil but not enough to take it down that is the match it is a 2-0 victory for Startoad, and also a 2-0 set score for Startoad as well as he advances on to the uh, losers semifinals to face Morgana and the Lakeshore Ladians. Um, I think that Startoad's Florgas and Sizzler, those last two Pokemon standing, were really his bread and butter. Florgas being able to just withstand so much versus uh, Edgar's relatively passive Pokemon and the special attackers as well. Scizor was able to just come in on Ferrothorn and not care about Ferrothorn at all. And uh, Defog. I think that Edgar got a little bit too greedy with the hazards. He did play well, but I think that maybe if he went for Nasty Plot and Houndoom, although actually I don't think he had Nasty Plot in that match because he had Destiny Bond, Flame Charge. Fire Blast and probably Dark Pulse, so uh, maybe that's why he didn't go for Nasty Plot, but I do think Houndoom was a good switch for him. I think maybe if he did have Nasty Plot, it would have been good. Um, Destiny Bond was definitely, some, definitely something that would have worked really nicely if he took out Florgas, but Florgas went for the Wish instead. Um, overall, really interesting match, though, and it was really enjoyable to see both of these players face off, and... Yeah, we're going to see Sartoad versus Morgana next week, so stay tuned for that for the losers' semifinals, and we're also going to be seeing the winners' finals, uh, Benji versus Drizzle. So until then, this is Noel, and I'll see you for those next battles.